Today, former President Donald Trump made it official. He filed to be on the ballot for the New Hampshire Republican presidential primary. Now, he's not the first to file to get on New Hampshire's ballot. He is the ninth. Anyone else wanting to get on that primary presidential ballot, though, has four more days until October 27th. And after filing for the primary, Trump spoke at a campaign rally in Derry, New Hampshire. He spoke about foreign policy, the border, and, well, as you might have guessed it, he criticized President Biden's speech. Joe Biden's speech was a grotesque betrayal of Israel and a confused mess of neocon warmongering, an American last lunacy. I make this promise to you as president. I will restore peace through strength, and we will prevent, we will stop World War III. We will not have World War III. I will shut down Iranian energy, and I'll unlock American energy like never before, and we will once again make the Iranian dictatorship very poor. And wait till you see what's going to happen with all those people. They're not coming in just because they like our weather. They like our weather. They're coming in for a lot of bad reasons. And if you want to come into the country, you can, but you have to come in legally. You have to come in legally. New Hampshire Union Leader, State House Bureau Chief Kevin Landrigan joins me. Nice to see you again, Kevin. Tell me, um, all eyes are always on New Hampshire at this time of year and into your primary. Um, let, what's the uh, horizon look like for the different Republican candidates? Greta, I mean, Donald Trump is sucking all the oxygen out of the room in New Hampshire. Um, he came with a lot of energy today. He was the first person, by the way, who's been a president who came back to file for president in person in New Hampshire. Nobody's ever done that before. Usually, like in 2020, Mike Pence came and filed for Donald Trump, but he wanted to, he wanted that historic distinction you're seeing there today. He had, he had a lot of energy. You know, his rallies can be 70 minutes long, 90 minutes long. This one was over 110 minutes long in Derry. He just wouldn't stop stumping. Um, and seems to clearly be enjoying the event. The other, the other kind of tweak about his campaign is he's not talking about a single rival anymore. If you remember, it was it was Florida Governor Ron DeSantis who was getting all the attacks from Trump. He he says um, he says DeSantis is is diving like a wounded bird and um, and is in danger of losing second place to uh, Nikki Haley. Um, but Ron DeSantis, who will be on your air later tonight, he'll be back here in New Hampshire tomorrow with um, New Hampshire Governor Chris Sununu. Now, Chris Sununu is going to endorse somebody, but this isn't the endorsement. He's, uh, he's had the courtesy of campaigning with all the candidates, and this is Ron DeSantis' turn. But um, clearly, DeSantis is in one of a top tier yes. of possible people that Sununu might endorse. Uh Okay, now let me ask about, I ask you this every time you come on, because the typically uh, New Hampshire is the first pr presidential primary, the caucus being Iowa, and this year it's going to be the first Democratic primary, according to the Democratic Party, is going to be in South Carolina, and there's a lot of jockeying, there's a date in New Hampshire, what you're going to, what New Hampshire is going to do or not do, and then, uh, where are we in this, in this intrigue? What's New Hampshire going to do about a Democratic primary? Well, Secretary of State, David Scanlon said um, he's going to defend the New Hampshire law. New Hampshire is going to go first, whether the DNC likes it or not. He's not going to announce the date, I, I don't believe, until Iowa's plans have been worked out. So it doesn't look as if he's probably not going to announce the date until November. But we have every expectation that it's going to be Jan January 23rd uh, next year. That's, that's certainly and the date. That's the front runner in the clubhouse right now for um, the date of the primary. Would you expect uh, President Biden to be on the primary ballot in New Hampshire? I mean, how, how deep is this uh, I do not. division? No, I mean, because the DNC rules say um, they're going to punish candidates who campaign here or if we defy the DNC, and we're clearly going to do that. you got to remember, this was Biden's plan that he presented to the DNC, rewarding South Carolina that literally took him right off the map after he such bad showings in New Hampshire and in Iowa in 2020. So he wanted to reward South Carolina. He's not about to campaign here. The other little interesting intrigue, of course, is Dean Phillips, the Minnesota congressman, the three-term Democrat from Minnesota, who 
may come on the final day of filing and actually run in New Hampshire against Biden. He so hasn't made a final decision yet, but they've actually, a consultant that's close to him has actually reserved some a permit for outside the state house on the morning of our last filing period day. So that, that's going to provide a little excitement too. Indeed, political intrigue. New Hampshire never disappoints us. Kevin Landrigan, thank you, sir. Great to be with you.